from my perspective, I would say life is uh, any any mass of molecules, a chemical that uh, uh, that intakes food or other chemicals, other molecules, uh, utilizes them to grow and then duplicate. Um, or on our planet, you could say that life is everything that is more closely related to me than a rock. What are the unique things that define life as we know it? Organization, self-replication, metabolism, use of energy, consumption, these simple rules of engagement, you know, are how we define life. I mean, I don't call a rock life, even though a rock can entomb life and the chemical signature, but it is not itself self-replicating object as much as it's very interesting. Um, so we have to be careful not to let our own arrogance of experience drive how we look for things, because otherwise we'll miss the forest for the trees. People have thought for centuries about what life might be, and the definition that I like to use is that life is something that creates its own destiny and moves forward uh, irregardless of what happens with physics or chemistry. To qualify as life, there are certain characteristics we look for. First would be reproduction, the ability to produce offspring. And as part of that reproduction, there needs to be inheritance, the ability to pass traits on to offspring. Second would be what we call homeostasis, the ability to maintain, to at least some degree, the internal environment and external integrity of the organism. Third would be energetics, metabolism. There needs to be the ability to process energy in one form into a usable form, that usable form would allow the maintenance of the organism and allow the reproduction as well. The best analogy I can come up with is the difference between having oxygen, uh, wood, uh, and a match, uh, and what happens after you uh, strike that match and, and light the wood. It, the, the fire is it's co combining those same components, but we see uh, the fire as some sort of metaphor for life. Uh, and people have tried for centuries to define fire and what kind of state it actually is. Uh, I think life is very much the same way. We can have the independent components uh, and you can have no life. There's some dynamic change uh, that takes place. People usually don't evoke religion to explain fire. I don't think we need to evoke it to explain what happens when you get these inanimate components together in a cell and all of a sudden we have something that can spontaneously uh, self-replicate. Or we could just say that life is the product of uh, promiscuous chemicals. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go!
Clock, clock. Oh, no, he got it. I got it. The clock is there for props only. To remind people that it's a two-minute contest, our official timekeeper, Brad Wall, who's been out in the circuit and is a veteran of this. Now, look at Joey's style. Look at this style. Some have said, look at this. It's almost like a factory. Remember, Henry Ford really uh, invented and perfected the... the <laughs> Assembly line. But Joey says that has back learned back. from Henry Ford, one of the great innovators in business and in history. And look at this. While one hand is stuffing really his face, the other hand is dunking. And it is almost a ballet, really, of sorts. A ballet, although I don't believe Tchaikovsky is involved. I don't know if Tchaikovsky even did ballet. But uh, Joey Chestnut moving very, very quickly. We are already through almost 15 crystal hamburgers. And I'll tell you, we're about at the one-minute mark. Unbelievable. Joey Chestnut. One minute. Uh, we, uh, this, I'm telling you something. Kobayashi, you better watch out. Because Joey Chestnut is proving something to me today. And that is that this kid, even though he is lost to the great Kobayashi, is not about to get himself demoralized. Here we go. At one minute and 20 seconds. Joey! 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 21 more down.